A very good morning to all. Looking at important headlines from the Hindu newspaper for 9th March. On the front page you have 5 new coronavirus cases in Kerala. Total in India now 39. So this is a family which did not report travel to Italy and evaded airport scanners. So these 5 persons including 2 women have been tested positive for coronavirus. And the total number of confirmed cases across the country is now 39. And this is after 15 hours of questioning, Rana Kapoor arrested by enforcement directorate. So this is Yes Bank founder Rana Kapoor. His daughter was also stopped at airport from taking flight to London. So we know Yes Bank, it has been bailed out by the government. And now its founder has been arrested by enforcement directorate. So he has been brought for questioning. So he has been booked under Prevention of Corruption Act and even under Prevention of Money Laundering Act. So you can see he has been under the scanner for granting large loans to the crisis hit DHFL, Divan Housing Finance Limited, allegedly in exchange for kickbacks to the tune of 600 crore rupees that were paid into his account by his account, based into the account of his family members. And then below you have High Court pulls up UP government over hoardings. So UP government had set up these huge hoardings in which uh, the photos and details of uh, uh, people who have been asked to pay compensation, you know, in view of the violence which was conducted in anti-CA protest in December 2019. So now High Court has uh, questioned, Allahabad High Court has questioned, it has said after our long hearing, court has reserved the order. So questioning has taken place and court will give an order on the matter. This is a new party which has been floated by a former minister and PDP leader as such. Altaf Bukhari. So this is called JNK Apni Party. And it says uh, it will not seek special status for the union territory. And this is Couple with Islamic State link held in the capital, that is in Delhi. So they were inciting anti-CA protests is what is being stated. So these are, this is a couple who had links to Khurasan module of the Islamic State. So they have been arrested. And this is over 40% government schools don't have power playgrounds. So this is the fact in the country. It is said almost half the government schools in the country do not have electricity or playgrounds. And this is according to the report submitted by the Parliamentary Panel on Education. So it's a report on 2020-21 demand for grants for school education, which have been submitted to the Rajya Sabha. So budget allocation in 2020-21 has seen a 27% cut you know, from proposals made by school education. The panel has expressed dismay the stark deficits in the government schools in infrastructure. It says only 56% schools have electricity. And uh, lowest rates in, are in Manipur and Madhya Pradesh, where less than 20% have access to power. It is said less than 57% of schools have playgrounds, including less than 30% of schools in Orisha and Jammu and Kashmir. So this is Unified District Information System for Education, UDI's 2017-18 survey which has given this data. So it has been recommended by the Parliamentary Panel on HRD, that is the Parliamentary Standing Committee on Education, Human Resource Development. It has recommended that the HRD Ministry should collaborate with Mahatma Gandhi National Rural Employment Guarantee Scheme to, to construct boundary walls and work with the Ministry of New and Renewable Energy to provide solar and other energy sources to the schools so that they have access to power. On page 7, you have Doctors Forum Dispels Beliefs on Commercial Cord Blood Banking. So, this is Pune Citizen Doctor Forum, which is a body that aims to rebuild trust among citizens and doctors and promote ethical, rational medical practices. So, it has come forward to buzz the aggressively promoted concept of cord blood banking. So, stem cell banking companies use aggressive techniques, you know, emotional, emotional tactics to... Uh, uh, to and um, charge enormous fees from parents to preserve cells that is the cord blood cells 
So what happens is cord blood banking. It involves taking the umbilical cord blood, which is rich source of stem cells, and preserving it for future use. So this actually it is said by so by the doctors that this is in a very early stage it is an experimental stage so this aggressive marketing when the use of stem cells is presently an experimental stage is question so the charge around 50 lakh to 50000 to 1 lakh to store and preserve stem cells in right condition icmr indian council of medical research does not recommend commercial stem cell banking it says so far there is no scientific basis for preservation of cord blood for future self-use and this practice therefore raises ethical and social concerns. So nexus between doctors and stem cell banking companies thrives and these companies get access to data of uh, to be parents and then they use aggressive marketing with them. On page 9 you have Arunachal bans entry of foreign tourists. So this decision has been taken after Bhutan alert about coronavirus infected tourists who have travelled to Assam. So now Arunachal Pradesh has banned entry of foreign tourists. And then you have Though hunters lose interest in red panda, traps still snare endangered mammals. So this is iconic and endangered red panda. It has few hunters now because the younger generation of people across uh, Himalayan habitats are losing interest in animal products. But uh, a study of wildlife trade monitoring network traffic has found that still these reddish brown arboreal mammals which are closely related to the iconic black and white giant panda are falling into traps laid for other animals such as musk deer and wild pigs. There is a drop in poaching in India and Bhutan, but Nepal has reported 25 incidents presently. On the editorial page, the first editorial is House Matters. So this is regarding how the opposition in the parliament has been protesting and demanding that Delhi riots be uh, debated on, be discussed, the issue being raised, but uh, the government is not ready, the chair is not ready. So, this editorial says that the government must be more accommodating to the position in parliament. And below you have missing at birth. So, this is regarding selective abortion, sex selective abortion and infanticide which takes place. So, there need to be serious efforts made to deter such practices which result in female feticide. Means if it's a female child, it is aborted. Then this is no green shoots of a revival in sight as yet. So this article argues that the latest GDP data shows that there has been an undeniable decline in the growth rate across seven consecutive quarters in the country. And there are no green shoots which are visible. Means this situation will continue for some time. And this is have an ear to Adivasi ground. So this talks about how policy framers must, must recognize the Adivasis, their wide diversity in order to address their different problems. So with respect to tribals, it's an important topic in UPSC. So this is important study. Then this is on the pet page. As Delhi burned institutions looked away. So this article argues how you know, Delhi riots, how it has shown that the institutions have not uh, not been supportive at that time. So, it says if not urgently addressed and mended, the cessation of a constitutional state will destroy social trust. So, it talks about police response, failure of the political class. And even National Human Rights Commission, National Commission for Minorities, National Commission for Protection of Child Rights, they have been nowhere in sight, even post Delhi riots. On page 12, you have RBI assures customers that their bank deposits are safe. So, Chief Economic Advisor Krishnamurti Subramaniam has said banks are well capitalized and there is no reason to worry. So, this is in the context of Yes, bank fiasco that concerns are being raised, but the government says there is no need to worry. And this is 84,000 vacant posts in Kashmir, but no recruitment yet. So, this is uh, 
in the context of parliamentary standing committee uh, which uh, in which it was stated by the home ministry that scrutiny of details is the reason for putting off the process of recruitment so though we can speak in government posts are there but recruitment has not taken place is yet to begin these details are being scrutinized so these are vacancies for non gazetted and class 4 level posts on international page you have italy quarantine 16 million in northern regions so chaos reigns as southern regions want people who emigrated to the north not to return home world health organization has also praised italy's decision of quarantine because uh, italy is the european state which european country which has been most affected by coronavirus then and this is three saudi princes arrested over plot to unseat crown prince that is crown prince uh, abdullah so here you can see pictures of king released to quell rumors about his health this is king salman so his pictures have been released and this is afghan political rivals to hold parallel swearing in ceremony so we had seen how abdul abdullah bitter rival of afghan president elect ashraf ghani he has been opposing election results even in the last electoral results he had opposed opposed the poll victory of uh, ashraf ghani and uh, coalition government or you know government was formed with us support of both coming together and forming the government but now in fresh elections to again ashraf ghani has won but abdul abdullah claims that he will form the government though he has lost and now parallel swearing in ceremonies will be held by them is a crisis political crisis going on in afghanistan where already taliban us deal has been signed and taliban has been targeting afghan forces and political bitterness also continues so that is it then business page on mondays have money wise coverage which is not important so these are the important headlines for detailed coverage of current affairs you can visit our website asia.com thank you